I'm Councilman Terry Rowe. I'm with uh, the City of Chandler here, and this is a Chandler in Focus. So welcome. And today we are going to talk to Tracy Tankley, and she is a aquatics supervisor for the City of Chandler, and um, she's kind of our drowning uh, uh, prevention specialist. And so uh, we're going to hear from her, and she's going to give us some ideas on uh, on this pretty important subject. And um, so thank you for being here, Tracy. And, thank you for um, having me. And, 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 and candidly, uh, we do this show almost every year because this is an important subject. And uh, so you certainly sat with other councilmen and, uh, and covered this subject. And uh, um, uh, we know drownings can be prevented, and, uh, but we, we wanna go over this so that uh, you know, young, uh, new parents, not necessarily young, new parents, mm -hmm. and uh, people that have families and young people around and, uh, and adults alike. Uh, can can be reminded of this and so so take just a minute and tell us a little bit about yourself gotcha and, well thank you for having me and you're exactly right drownings are 100 percent preventable the maricopa county health department released their 2016 drowning reports which showed every single drowning that occurred in maricopa county was preventable so um, this message is extremely important not only personally but also to our community as well um, as far as myself, I actually learned to swim at Arrowhead Pool, which is one of our six facilities in the city. Um, I was a competitive swimmer throughout high school and took a job as lifeguarding because I just loved being at the pool. Um, we were avid boaters as well out at Saguaro Lake every weekend, um, which really just brought me to lifeguarding. And I went away to college at NAU and came back and never stopped lifeguarding. So I um, became a rec coordinator one. I also um, got to help open Mesquite Groves Aquatic Center when it opened in 2008 and uh, then became a rec coordinator too responsible for that facility. So my path in aquatics has kind of been my entire life. <laughs> and so, um, so what, what's important to me is what you just talked about is it's just all of the different types of uh, water elements that you're exposed to. I mean, you talk about uh, Sora Lake and uh, and swim uh, and, and our various community pools here in Chandler, but uh, I mean uh, the risk is very real wherever you go. You're and, exactly right. Yeah, I mean yeah. we live in the desert, but we really are surrounded by water. Whether it's just in home in your bathtub, um, with buckets and toilets and all of those things that are just in your home every day, to all of the different recreation opportunities that we have with the lakes and the rivers, um, and then pretty much every community has a pool. Um, or a pool within walking distance that is available to be used. So, yeah. ton of things to look out for. <laughs> it, 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 it's 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 a broad subject. Mm -hmm. So, but um, you're you're on a drowning prevention coalition uh, here. Is it is it for Arizona or is it uh, for the Valley or? I am. And, and what's your role? Uh, the Drowning Prevention Coalition is actually a statewide initiative. It's an organization comprised of healthcare professionals. Um, parents who have lost their, their children to drownings, um, business leaders, really just a group of community leaders who their goal and their aim is to reduce drowning incidents, both fatal and non-fatal, through legislative action, uh, through promotional or promoting educational awareness throughout the schools, um, and then also enhance product safety. Um, my role within the Drowning Prevention Coalition, I've been a board member since 2012, um, and recently I've been um, elected as secretary. I kind of handle a lot of the events and promotion um, and communicating what the Drowning Prevention Coalition is offering and also promoting water safety events within the community by whoever would like their water safety event promoted out. Yeah, that is, that's what's so great about you know your service and and so many of the people that work for Chandler that uh, they're involved in uh, supporting organizations that 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 uh, they really benefit Chandler. And, exactly. Uh, and so, um, um, so let's get down to it here. What mm -hmm. uh, what are uh, some a few keys to preventing drowning? Well, we like to use the um, the ABCs of water safety. Um, really, the A is adult supervision. You need somebody who is um, an adult who knows how to swim, who knows CPR, and most importantly, is sober. 
Um, that's kind of one of those key aspects of making sure that you have constant capable supervision, regardless of what type of body of water you're around. And also knowing as an adult that it's okay to take turns. Supervising and maintaining that adequate supervision, we know through studies and we know as lifeguarding can really only be done for about 20 minutes. <laughs> okay. So being able to take turns as that adult supervisor to really give yourself a break and make sure that you're doing the best that you can when it's your turn to supervise. Okay. Um, the B is barriers. So barriers are really all the things that you can put into place to make sure that you have a little bit of extra time, especially as a parent, you know that toddler can get away very quickly. Um, so if you have those barriers in place, so a self-latching, self-closing door that leads out to the pool area, um, a fenced pool in place. Even if you don't have a pool in your backyard, making sure that your toilet lids are secured and, fashion, and fastened, um, making sure that any buckets or standing water are dumped out at the end of the night and unable to refill again. Um, so all the different barriers that we can put in place to just give yourself a few extra minutes um, in order to catch up to that toddler or anyone in your home. And then the C is really classes. CPR, um, and learn to swim classes are the two most common classes so that you know how to swim and that you know CPR in the event that an emergency occurs. Um, but one of the things that the Drowning Prevention Coalition has done recently is added U.S. Coast Guard approved flotation devices to that sea, um, giving you the opportunity to use a U.S. Coast Guard approved device in the water, whether it's a lake, a river, or your backyard pool. Um, to just provide one extra layer of protection. So those ABCs of water safety, the adult supervision, the barriers, the classes, and then the, the US Coast Guard approved device. All of those layers of protection working together to help prevent drownings. You know what, uh, uh, and I appreciate, that's good. ABC is a good way to remember that. And uh, you know, um, and the media, um, uh, our communities, uh, we, we wanna, uh, save our and protect our children and mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but it is important for adults to realize that um, if they too are you know are at risk and uh, so um, uh, swimming in a community pool here, here in Chandler is that uh, you know you, uh, we have the ABCs and uh, and Chandler you know uh, you know focuses on that mm -hmm. and the eye to eye to supervise I guess is the other one it is and uh, but but you'd probably almost recommend that people um, swim uh, with a partner a little bit. For sure, that buddy um, system, making sure that you have somebody who's with you at all times, especially in an adult situation. Um, we know that children aren't the only ones at risk, that adults can often become uncomfortable in water over their head very quickly, or in uncomfortable in swift moving water when they weren't expecting it. Um, so having that buddy system in place is also very important. And and I kind of jumped the gun there mm -hmm. on this eye to eye to supervise. That's uh, that it's it's a good way to say that. It's just simply uh, you know uh, you know making sure that you you have the, that's that I've got my eye on you type thing. Exactly. And, uh, and that's moms and dads or uncles or aunts and uh, and and sharing the responsibility of of watching our toddlers and that sort of thing. Exactly. That adult supervision and that eye to eye message whether you're wearing a life jacket or not wearing a life jacket, being within touch supervision as an adult with a child or that eye to eye supervision really shows that you are paying attention, that you are providing that constant capable supervision with eye to eye or touching supervision. So it is very important, both for the child who's in the water, but also the adult to know that it is their current responsibility. So put the phone down, put the book down and be ready for that supervisory role. Yeah, I, I was um, anecdotally, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm sure there's many stories, but uh, I, I was at an event and uh, and everybody was really having a good time. And then uh, there uh, there was a young uh, a young girl, and she started yelling, "He's drowning! He's drowning!" Mm -hmm. uh, well, guess what? You know, uh, here's a young man that uh, stepped off the steps and couldn't swim and uh, made no sound. So this is the thing, you know, you if. If you're not eye to eye and if you're not supervising, uh, you can be talking and having a great time and think everything is safe and it just simply isn't. And uh, so, uh, so that was a, that was a sobering event for, for me to witness. And right. uh, so, um, and, and, 
So we just want to avoid that kind of stuff, right? Exactly. Yeah. Well, you do bring up two really great points. We know that families in a pool party situation, meaning more adults than children, often create drowning incidents, fatal and non-fatal. Um, there's no one designated to be the supervisor in some of those situations. There's the general consensus that there are more adults than children yeah. and everybody's paying attention when in fact, you know from that experience, it's not the case. Sure. And that secondary part is, you know, we've been taught by TV and Hollywood that drowning is loud, it's a big event. But exactly to your point, it is silent, it is quick. Um, one to four is the most common age group to experience a fatal or non-fatal drowning incident and they slip under the water with no sound with no movement um, and it can be very very quick so following those abcs of water safety in like a party situation or group situation or designating a lifeguard during those times are going to make it for a much more enjoyable day yeah well that's great advice and i mean these uh lifelong um, um impact on a family that uh that has success or, uh, or or a tragedy associated with a pool incident or, or any kind of swimming incident. So, mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk about mm -hmm. our aquatic facilities here in Chandler. Okay. Tell us a little bit about, a little overview. Sure, we have six aquatic facilities here in the city of Chandler. Arrowhead Pool is Chandler Boulevard and Alma School. It is a 50 yard facility, or I'm sorry, a 50 meter pool um, with 25 yard capability. That facility during the summertime is one of our main lesson programs. So they offer up to seven hours of swim lessons a day. So a really great opportunity to come in and, and learn to swim. We also have another pretty lesson designated facility, which is Foley Pool, Arizona Avenue and Pecos. Um, that facility offers up to eight hours of swimming lessons a day. So really great instructors to get your kids into for swimming lessons. Um, Desert Oasis is off of Summit and Alma School. And that facility is primarily public swim with some lessons thrown in. We've done some facility renovations and added shade at that location over this past winter. And it also has our only drop slide. So a really great place to go and have fun. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> we have um, Hamilton Aquatic Center, which is Arizona Avenue in Ocotillo. Uh -huh. um, it's on Hamilton High School's campus. So it's a shared use facility. During yeah. the summer, it's probably our second most popular facility as a, when it comes to public swim attendance. We have Mesquite Groves Aquatic Center, which is at Val Vista and Riggs. Probably by far our most popular facility. We see about 150,000 guests at that location during the year. <laughs> um, so it's busy and very popular. And then we also have our Nozomi Aquatic Center, which is at the 202 in Kyrene. Um, also underwent a few renovations this winter. Great shade structures over the zero depth. So a really nice area for um, both family playtime and swim lesson programming. We've got a we've got a we've got a great aquatics uh, lineup here in Chandler. We and, really uh, do. Hey, do we want more? <laughs> I, I think always, so. Always, always, because always. We, I mean, at, at certain times of the year, we're at capacity, aren't we? We really are. Yeah, we and really so, are. Uh, but uh, that's something to talk to uh, management about mm -hmm. and try and uh, for the future. But we have a great program now, and we've a lot of great uh, uh, parks and that sort of thing. But uh, uh, let's talk about swim classes. What kind of swim classes? You know. Uh, uh, what, 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 what do we have available? Sure, we offer swim lessons actually year round. And that's one of the things that our residents really don't always know about. They say, oh, it's great. I wish you'd offer it year round. Well, we do. <laughs> um, we do limit the programming to about three facilities during the off season. And then during the peak season, which is Memorial Day to Labor Day, all six of our facilities offer swim lessons. So we have swim lessons going on every month of the year, except for the month of December. Um, we offer the American Red Cross program so it's a learn to swim program with six different levels um, and it spans basically from preschool to the adult age range. So we have um, also group options, which can be anywhere from one instructor to five students, six students or eight students. And we also have introduced in the last few years a semi private lesson program for parents that are wanting just a little bit more one on one attention. Um, and that can be anywhere from one instructor up to three kiddos. So it's limiting the number of kids in the water with the instructor sure. for a little bit more, you know, intimate experience, a little more um, progression and one-on-one -on -one teaching. 
We also offer four day, six day and eight day sessions, kind of just depending on the year. So a great opportunity, not only for the parents that are home with kiddos, but also the parents who are working or need the evening and Saturday options. So really no excuse not to be in swimming lessons, even for the adults to get in with their kids and take our teen and adult beginner class. Wow. <laughs> that, that is a lot. Um, now, mm -hmm. um, how does somebody decide what their swim level is? And uh, is, is it okay to say no one should be embarrassed to try and, and, and take swimming lessons? Absolutely. We have a level for everyone, <laughs> regardless of where you're at. Uh, maybe you are the adult who is fearful of putting their head under the water, or yeah. maybe you are the adult who um, can swim but would like to be able to swim more efficiently. Um, so yeah, there is no embarrassment whatsoever about getting into our swim lesson program. So we have a few different tools. Um, we have our swim test. You can come down to any one of our facilities during public swim time, talk to the cashier at the window, and have yourself and your kiddos swim tested. It takes anywhere from five to 15 minutes. It's free of charge and it allows you to really get in the water with an instructor and determine where you're gonna fall within our, our 13 different levels. Um, we also have preview classes online. So our chandleraz.gov slash registration, it's where you actually go to sign up for your class for the very first time. Each one of the classes has a preview video, so you can get a better idea of what do the kids look like in this level, what skills are they going to learn, and that way it's sometimes a little bit easier to visualize if you can watch a little section of the class. And then we also have just a basic flow chart that gives you some basic skills and then how it progresses within our Learn to Swim, and that's available online as well. Okay, there is, so. a pro there is a process. There is a yes. process. You don't just jump in the pool and the, no, there's a process for figuring out what people's needs are. And, uh, and, and, and look, the goal is to, to learn to swim. And so you shouldn't be embarrassed or shy about it. Uh, um, I, I, the people that do the wor tr work with these folks, um, uh, they're trained and, and they deal with people every day that have different, you know, levels and, uh, and needs, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we're going to talk about the junior, junior lifeguard program, and we have a, a quick video that we want to show on that. And so let's just pause just for a minute and let that go. Okay. You can't beat City of Chandler pools and aquatic centers for summer family fun. Uh, this is the safest, uh, friendliest, most fun place that you can bring your kids. Keeping all those kids safe is a job the city takes seriously. The Junior Lifeguard Program was developed to introduce and get kids ages 10 to 15 years old interested in lifeguarding. The Lifeguard Prep Academy is for teens ages 14 and up and focuses on preparing for the prerequisites for the Lifeguard Certification Course. Both courses are meant to prepare young people for the demands of training to be a lifeguard for the City of Chandler. Maddox Moran joined the Junior Lifeguard Program in elementary school to get a head start on his dream job. I think I'll want to be a lifeguard because you get a lot of good experience and I'm just excited because when I turn around to 15 or 16, I'll try out to be a lifeguard. Participants enrolled in the Junior Guard and Lifeguard Prep Academy programs are not getting lifeguard certification, but they are learning the important duties that will help them prepare for the lifeguard certification course in the future. Well, every year we do hire quite a few lifeguards and we do like to start them at a younger age so that they can develop um, their swimming skills and get introduced to the responsibilities of a lifeguard. Instructors prepare kids to take the American Red Cross lifeguard course by teaching right. them skills such as rescue techniques, first aid, and Two, CPR. Three, so junior guard is you get prepared for when you become a true lifeguard. Once junior lifeguards demonstrate the necessary swimming skills, they get on-the-job training. So part of the uh, junior guard program requires them to do their shadowing shifts alongside our professional lifeguard staff. I think it's amazing that kids like my, me at such a young age are learning how to do stuff like this. The Lifeguard Prep Academy helps teens 14 and older strengthen their skills. The Lifeguard Prep Academy was designed to help them improve their swimming skills and endurance so that they're able to uh, pass those prerequisites and then take the lifeguard training class. Our professional lifeguard staff here is among the best in the valley. Uh, a lot of that is due to the amount of training 
that we do with all of our, our staff on a regular basis and with all the programs that we have, like our junior guards and lifeguard prep that have prepared them to get to this point. Would you like to train for your future as a Chandler Aquatic Center lifeguard? Visit chandleraz.gov aquatics to find out more and sign up for classes. Okay, so welcome back. And um, we're gonna talk about the Junior Lifeguard Program. And so maybe you can talk a little bit about that. And uh, uh, it's an opportunity for young people that aren't necessarily old enough to be a lifeguard, but they can get some advanced training. And uh, so uh, maybe you could you know, go a little further with that. Sure. Our Junior Lifeguard Program is meant for kids um, 10 to 14 years old. So you're exactly right. We're not quite old enough to be a lifeguard, but we want to know what lifeguarding is all about. Um, so it's a really great program to learn first aid, CPR skills, and then some of the basic rescues. It also helps us develop good attitudes and good water safe behaviors around um, the water. And then it really prepares participants to take that lifeguarding class. So you can take a lifeguarding class at the age of 15. So the junior lifeguard program is a really great chance to kind of be at the pool, learn what lifeguards are, are going to be doing, and prepare those kids to become lifeguards at 15. Okay, and so the secret's out. Apparently you participated in a program a little <laughs> bit like this uh, when not too many years ago when you were young. Uh, is that true? I did. I um, I participated in the Junior Lifeguard Program at Desert Oasis. Yeah. Um, at that point in time, Desert Oasis was brand spanking new, and it was um, a really great chance for me to figure out that I do, in fact, want to be a lifeguard. Um, I did spend some of my time picking up trash on deck, which was not my favorite part, but overall the program was really fun. I got to be with the lifeguards. I got to be in the guard room, um, see what their every day was like. And as soon as I turned 15, I, I took that class and was ready to go. Neat, <laughs> neat, love it. Okay, and so now let's just talk about um, our lifeguards. I mean, um, uh, just about the ones that the city hires, I guess, every year, every season. Every year. We hire um, and employ about 300 part-time temporary lifeguards. It's our lifeguards, our water safety instructors, and our pool managers. Um, so we train year-round and keep staff on year-round, even though it's a temporary or a part-time position, um, in order to make sure that we are always ready to go. So we have facilities that are open year round. We also have facilities that are open truly seasonal um, so that staff is trained and, and ready to work whenever we need them. Yeah. And so when you say train, what are the responsibilities of, of a lifeguard? The main responsibilities of the lifeguard really are to prevent injuries and to respond to emergencies. Um, when they are in a lifeguarding chair, that is exactly what they're doing. They're observing the behavior in the water, they're making sure that they're enforcing rules. Anything that's gonna prevent any sort of injury from a slip and fall to um, you know, needing assistance out of the water. Um, when they're off the chair, they're doing everything else from emptying the trash cans to cleaning the toilets to um, you know, some of the less fun aspects of lifeguarding, but really building that confidence, building that work ethic. Um, and we've heard from a lot of our staff who've moved on to really great careers, how well prepared they were for their next career choice regardless of what it was because of their stint as a lifeguard. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's a great program. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, on average, and I, I mean Chandler has a very good record when it comes to uh, water safety, but uh, on average, uh, obviously sometimes rescues are uh, do occur. And so is there an average that, uh, that we experience annually? Last year in 2016, we had about 140 rescues between our six facilities. So a rescue is really any time a lifeguard has exited their chair to render assistance. Um, all of our rescues were positive outcomes, um, meaning there was no detrimental effects to, to any of the victims in place. Anything from just needing a quick assistance to the side to they were truly underwater and needing, needing assistance. Oh, okay, so how does somebody apply and what do they do? We um, offer and open our recruitment every October. So for this summer season, we actually are, are doing our new employee orientation and training all of our newly hired staff right now. Um, so in every October, we'll open that recruitment. Um, we have applications available online through the city's website. Um, so the first thing you gotta do though is get certified. 
So we accept American Red Cross lifeguard certification and water safety instructor certification, and that can be obtained um, really within the city of Chandler or any neighboring valley um, city that offers that type of class. Yep. And then you just go online and apply. It's good stuff, good stuff. Water safety, the ABCs, right? Yep. And eye to eye supervision. And uh, um, I don't, I, I don't want uh, this important thing. When you talk about uh, an, an individual, just a private homeowner, swimming pools, hot tubs, is there any, anything that you'd like to add for them? There is. We know as as parents, you know, it, life is busy, and supervising a household of anywhere from one child to multiple children is a very stressful and challenging job. So utilizing these tips, the ABCs, putting layers of protection in place really give you the best chance and the best peace of mind as a parent to keep your kids safe at home. Yeah, so, uh, and and use those barriers. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't mess around. Uh, yeah. Don't think it can't happen to you. Exactly. Is that, is that fair to say? And I've got just a couple of minutes left here. So is there anything else that you'd like to maybe add? Uh, we look forward to having everybody out this summer at any of our six aquatic centers. Um, one of the things that we do like to, you know, remind guests as they're coming in that lifeguards really are there to prevent injury and respond to emergency, um, that that supervisory responsibility lies with the parent coming in that day. So it's between parents and lifeguards to make sure that our guests have that great safe experience um, when they're coming to any of our City of Chandler pools. And then anybody who's interested in doing a little bit more, I just encourage you to look at the Drowning Prevention Coalition of Arizona website and become a member. Well, a big uh, shout out and kudos to you, uh, Tracy, and your uh, aquatics uh, team. And, Thank uh, you. And, and, and I just, we talked a little bit before the show about how, how you hire uh, the hundreds of young people annually and, uh, and get folks and... Uh, and you've got a great process for that, and I'm mm -hmm. impressed. And uh, thank you for sharing that. And um, so um, we're going to remember the ABCs, which is, uh, what are they? Let's go over them again. They are your adult supervision. Adult supervision. Your which, barriers. Which I could use right now. Yeah. <laughs> and, and barriers. Barriers. And then classes and that U.S. Coast Guard approved life jacket. And then eye to eye to supervise. And eye to eye to supervise. That's it. That's it. Well, Tracy, thank you for coming today, and uh, you guys are doing a great job, and uh, we love our aquatics facilities here in Chandler. And, um, and thank you. Um, I'm Councilman Terry Rowe, and thank you for watching another Chandler in Focus. We'll see you next time.